Welcome to the tutorial on multiple plots in a canvas. In this tutorial, we will learn to generate multiple plots in one canvas, make a multi-plot graph using script commands, define placement and size of graphs in canvas, add a rectangle object in the background, generate output on the screen, Save the output to SVG file. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 OS, Gedit version 3.18, GNU plot version 5.2.6. To follow this tutorial, Learner must be familiar with the basics of GNU plot. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. The files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract them. Open a terminal and change the directory to desktop. I will demonstrate the multiplot command with four graphs in one canvas. Type gedit space ampersand. The ampersand makes the process run in the background. It detaches the process from the terminal. Press enter to open gedit. Windows users may use notepad or wordpad. We will write the required commands in a text file. I will type hash my first multiplot and press enter. This is a comment line. Next, set the environment to multiplot mode as set space multiplot. Start a new line and leave a blank line for clarity. We will plot sin x, cos x, a straight line and an exponential decay graphs. I will start with the script for the sin x part. In the next line, enter a command to identify that the plot is for sin x. Enter the next two commands as shown here. They define the size and placement for the sin x plot. This plot is set at position 00, zero which is the origin. This is the left hand bottom corner of the page. Here I am specifying plot size to be a square of 0.5 by 0.5. This size is relative to the total page size and makes it a quarter of the page. We will set x and y range and title for the sin x plot. These are the graph formatting details for the sinx plot. We will then issue the plot command for sinx. I will enter the details for the second plot which is cos x. First, I write a comment line to indicate it is the part for cos x in the script. Type hash cos x x plot. Enter the commands as shown here. Pause the video as and when necessary. Here I specify the position and size of the second plot. The position is set to the right side of the sin x plot. I will use the data from the text file data.txt for the third and fourth plots. This file is provided to you in the code files link of this tutorial. I have downloaded and saved the file on desktop. The file has three columns, x, y1 and y2. Now I will enter the details for the third plot. Write a comment starting with a hash. Type straight line plot and press enter. Again specify the size and position for this graph. This position places the graph in the top right corner. Enter the commands as shown here. 
specify the title, auto scale, axis range and issue the plot command. The third column in the data file is the y data values for the straight line plot. Pause the video when required to enter the commands. Here I am specifying auto scale for axis range. Here I am using column 1 for x data and column 3 for y data. Here I also specify no legend title is required in the plot. Let's write the part of the script to generate the exponential decay plot. I will type hash exponential decay for the comment line. For this plot, set the position above the sin x plot in the top left corner. Set the size, title for the graph and auto scale the data. Read in the columns for x and y data from the data file in the plot command. Here it is column 1 and column 2 for x and y data. I will leave a blank line after this. Finally, unset the multiplot mode with the command unset space multiplot. Press Ctrl S to open the file save as dialog box. Save the file in desktop directory with the file name multiplot.dem. Click on save to save the script. Minimize the gedit window. Go to the terminal. Let's open GNU plot. I will also clear the screen. Let's run the script to generate the multiplot. Enter the command load space. In single quotes, multiplot.dem. A graphics window with four graphs appear in the canvas. In case of errors in the script, GNU plot will remain in the multiplot mode. Then the graphics plot is not generated. If so, type unset space multiplot. To reset default setting, the unset command is used. If we do not unset the format, the set format will not reset to default setting. This returns the terminal to GNU plot prompt. Debug the script to make it error free and run the script to generate the plot. A few formatting modifications could improve the look of the graphs. Hence, I will make the following modifications in the script. Close the graphics window. Go back to the gedit window to edit the script. If you had closed it, please open the script file to edit it further. Scroll to the synapse part of the script. Let's change the background color of the synapse plot. Start a new line before the plot command. To change the background color, we will insert an object in the graph. Enter the command as seen on the screen. Here we have set a cyan colored rectangle without border for the background. Start a new line after the plot command. Unset the cyan background object as shown here. For the straight line plot, add modifications on axis formats. The y-axis numbers are large, so I will change the notation. I will also rotate the x-axis ticks in the plot. I will also specify the y-ticks spacing. We will unset the y-axis format after the plot command is executed. Next, go to the part of the exponential decay script. I will add the same formatting commands as shown in the straight line plot. Notice that they are added before the plot command. Start a new line after the plot command and unset the format of y-axis. Let's add commands to print the graph into an image file. Scroll up to the top of the script file. Type set term to SVG before starting the multiplot mode. 
direct the output to a SVG file as seen. These are done before the multiplot command is executed. Scroll to the bottom of the script file and unset the output. This is done after we unset the multiplot mode. Enter the command unset space output. Press Ctrl S to save the file and minimize gedit. Go back to the terminal from where GNU plot was opened. If you had closed GNU plot, please open GNU plot again. Run the updated multiplot.dem script. Now the graphics window does not open since the output is a SVG file. Enter the command quit to quit GNU plot. Go to desktop. Open the file multiplot.svg that is created on the desktop. Since the path is desktop, the output file is generated in the desktop directory. You may add commands to the script to generate the desired output. Similar scripts are available in the GNU plot demo website. Practice and familiarize with the commands and styles. Now, to summarize, in this tutorial, we learned the multiplot command, defined placement and size of plot in canvas, generated four plots in a canvas, added a rectangle object, generated output on the screen, and saved the output to a SVG file. For assignment activity, please do the following. Plot four parabolas opening in four different quadrants in a 2 by 2 multiplot. Give a different background color for each plot. With the file data.txt that is provided, do the following. Generate one plot covering the canvas with x, y1 data points. Draw an inset graph with x, y2 data points. The completed assignment looks similar to this. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Post your timed queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.